The stones and the spirits in this place have begun to heal.
Certainly. Yes. So, Ella, have you ever woken up to find your other half used your body during the night? I don't think I understand you. And I'm not sure I want to. Well, I've found that if I go to sleep hungry enough, I wake up covered in blood and delightfully full.
does your search? Well, let's hear it. I had feared they might be involved in Widewind's legacy. It seemed too extreme even for them. How naive I've been. The Leaden Key's conspiracy is clear now. They have used Anguithan technology to engineer Widewind's legacy, and they want people to blame Anamancy for it. As we speak, the Duke is holding hearings in the palace. He is listening to arguments for and against Anamancy. When they finish, he is expected to decide whether to outlaw it. It seems the Leaden Key has been pushing Deerwood down this path for some time. I, for one, would enjoy seeing their little scheme fouled up at the last moment. Our Duke must hear what you have to say. Unfortunately, the hearings are closed to the public, which makes the Duke inaccessible until they are completed. However, certain groups have been invited to attend. You might get in with one of them if you aren't above a little pandering. There are delegations from the Knights of the Crucible, the Dozens, and from House Dominion. If you can gain the support of one of those groups, that may be your best way in. See what you can arrange. Yes? What of them? We would only do that as a last resort. Walking in with one of the three invited groups puts you in a position of influence. Walking in alone as a representative of Dunreed Row would earn you distrust among all the rest. It seems our organization has a reputation for nosiness and manipulation for whatever reason. It would be best if people did not see Dunreed Row's hand in this. Easier for them to embrace the truth. Avar is many things to many people, and that is why he sits the throne. To the frontiersmen, he is one of their own. To the patriotic, he is a sole descendant of Admeth Hadrit. To the nobility, he is from an old and established family. All of these are half-truths or exaggerations, a tale he has spun around himself. The man behind the tale may not be the greatest mind in Deerwood, but he knows people. He knows when they are sincere and when they lie. He knows when they are strong and when they are weak. The other matters he leaves to me. Outwardly, he prefers to come off a bit of a simpleton. Don't be fooled. Before he was a duke, he was a trapper, and an excellent one at that. Yes. Certainly. Hesitant, I just don't. 
Indeed. Duke Avar looks to the knights for prudent counsel as well as defense. I suspect our future as a city and a nation will depend in no small part on how we handle this matter. Where's your search? I've told you everything you need to know. It's only right that you know everything. When I was younger, before Dunreed Row, I had many suitors. These were fine-looking men of good stock. But I could see their thoughts, and they were unimpressive. Boys' thoughts. I toyed with their affections. I resented all of them. And then I met a man whose mind was a mystery to me. But he understood me. He knew me at a glance. Told me things I didn't know about myself. He was neither handsome nor charming, but he was all I ever wanted. 
we made a game of my gift. He would ask me about people, and I would tell him what they were thinking. Sometimes the information was very sensitive. And then one day he asked me if I trusted him. I said I did. Next I knew I was donning a silver mask and swearing oaths to Wurika. Using my gift for the leaden key still felt like a game to me. So I did it. I did it because it pleased him. I don't like living in the dark. It's a powerless, hopeless feeling. Every day I did things without knowing their purpose. Every day I loved a man without knowing his thoughts of me. I sensed that there were things he wanted to tell me. I sensed that he knew everything the leaden key was created to hide. But Theos was unyielding. One day I disappeared without a word. He would kill me for it, and I knew that. It's their rule. I just wanted to see him plunge the knife, because then I would know. But the day never came. He has left me to wonder. I have devoted my years to learning everything I could about him, in hopes I would find some clue as to who he really was, and why he felt he had to keep his secrets locked away. I have precious little to show for it. Just an old woman nagged by old thoughts. And that is truly everything I can tell you about Theos. I hope you will accept this embarrassing story as a show of my good faith. What of them? Wolfgrin looks to the Crucible Knights as a voice of reason and order. Speaking from their section should lend you credibility with him. You need waste no more time here. Get to the palace. Make your case to the Duke. With him on our side, all of Deerwood can be mobilized against the Leaden Key, and Theos can be rooted out. I only wish I could be there to see it. There is a very old bottle of a very good brandy that I have been saving for a special day. If you hurry back afterward, there may be a little left for you. Off with you. You're going to do very well in there. What of them?
Well then, answer me this, Master Barash. If you Animancers represent our best hope to cure the legacy, what progress can you demonstrate? Ramir de Barask is originally from Palminia. He's one of the finest minds in Anamancy to come out of the Valian Republics. He left for Defiance Bay five years ago, because he believed this was the true heart of Anamancy research. As I've said, it isn't about progress, it's about potential. My house would agree, Your Grace. We see great potential in its future. And I suppose your blazing profits during the Legacy don't have nothing to do with that, do they, Dominel? You can't have it both ways no more! Animancy goes, or this country goes! So you admit, Master Barask, that Animancy is no closer to stopping the Legacy than it ever was. No, we've had many promising experiments. Cadman Azo has shown... Cadman Azo murdered a child! For a complete failure! We should be hanging him right now for what he done! The dozens won't stand for it! The, the experiment failed, yes, but his work... Ah, our new delegate from the Knights of the Crucible. What makes you say sabotage? The fuck's that even matter? These are people who would toy with the lives of our children! Indeed. Even assuming there was sabotage, is this Animancer Azo not still accountable here? Horseshit! These Animancers can't be trusted! Look at what happened in Heritage Hill! Our supposed protectors from Crucible Keep can't even clean up the messes Animancy leaves! Your Grace, we'd have a much easier time of it if our knights weren't so occupied trying to keep their organization from igniting a revolution on our very doorstep. Heritage Hill is blood on your hands, Justicia! You turn a blind eye, and look what happens! You've some strange taste in travels, friend. The height of your tails expands with every breath. I had heard whispers of a new delegate set to attend today's hearing. I admit that your candor was mentioned more than once. Tell us what you saw in Heritage Hill. Even if it is as you say, we have testimony that a group of Animancers had been spending time there. Surely their tinkering had something to do with this. Animancy has many enemies. You need only look around this room to see it. You're just... you're missing the point! Everywhere there's Animancers, there's disaster! We all know what Widewind's legacy's really about. And it ain't about some sparkling saint from Creed Ceres who's mad because he took a stroll down the wrong bridge! It's about a bunch of so-called intellectuals fucking with the natural order, while the rest of us gotta suffer for it! Is it, though? Should we not take the time to reach a clear conclusion? I mean, what proof do we have? My son and daughter are buried beneath the floor of my house. We don't own no land, so that's where we lay them. My son. My wife let him slip when she was bathing him. Got water in his lungs he couldn't cough up. My daughter? We put her to bed one night, and the next morning she wasn't breathing. This hollowborn thing? It ain't ending. 
and it ain't ending because we still let these charlatans play God. There's your proof, you damn copper fucker! Enough, Adric. Lady Dominel makes a point. If it's animancy, then why do the other states that permit the practice not suffer the same fate? Who among us can say he truly understands why the legacy has taken hold here? Another lunatic at the hearing. Did you remember to lock your sanitarium before you left, Master Barask? You must know, friend, that the Leaden Key is a mantle for small-time ruffians and children at play. I'm not saying you're a liar. Not yet. But you'd better start making sense of all this. Help us believe you. The only piece of evidence. The only piece of evidence that doesn't send your kind to the gallows, you mean? You've made an unexpected case, friend. I'll say that much. It seems we have a new possibility to consider, at the very least. How was it you came to learn all this? Indeed. This land is foreign to you, unless I miss my guess. Your efforts on its behalf are to be commended. But these hearings are about more than Widewind's legacy, even though that is our most pressing concern. Let's say for the moment that I were to take you at your word that our friends in Brackenberry Sanitarium and their peers bear no responsibility for this curse upon my country. I'm curious. What would you do if you were in my position? Very well. That is all I wish to hear. Not just from you, but from everyone. Many days we've been at this. It is time we put it to rest. I want to thank the delegations for helping me to collect my thoughts. In particular, I want to thank our new delegate, who has given me much to think about, and who alerted me to a new enemy I had failed to see. The time has come to choose a direction for the Deerwood. I am ready to make my pronouncement. Ramir de Barash, representing the interests of Animancers in Deerwood, step forward. Your Grace. Concerns about animancy may not outweigh its value. Forgive me, your grace. We will accept no judgment but our own. What's he doing? No! Avenge the duel! No, no, wait! 
wait! Stop this! I've given you every chance to end this pursuit. Shall I end it for you? Another time. I am already late. Shall I end it for you? Already at peace, Grand Inquisitor. Are you? So be it. If you desire no end, you shall have none. I find you guilty of heresy. May the eternal prison bar your soul from passage, for it is beyond redemption. What do you do?
was a fool to think I could tame these people. You came closer than most. A fine epitaph. No worse than any. from my thoughts. I've had time to practice. Uh. I was saving that for someone. Pity. You know this is how it has to be. rises above the city walls in billowing plumes that blacken the sky like a storm. Behind the walls, the riots rage on. Known patrons of Anamancy are forced into hiding as looters ransack their estates and make off with their possessions. Anamancers are torn away from their families and dragged from their homes to be stoned to death in the streets. Word had spread immediately that Duke Avar had been assassinated and that an Anamancer was to blame. The city wasted little time in exacting revenge, and little effort into evaluating guilt. In the center of it all, Brackenberry Sanitarium burned. And down the lane, Hodred House, the last bastion of stability in the Deerwood, had fallen silent. Now safely outside the city gate, your path points eastward to Twin Elms, where Theos is bound, for reasons that remain mysterious as the leaden key itself. to tell you something. I have not been entirely honest about my motives for traveling with you up to this point. When I finished my training in Adir, I was introduced to an organization. All I knew was that they were opposed to the unchecked spread of animancy, and that they could guarantee me postings far away from the Seathwood, my father and his Earl. At that time, it was enough. In the early years, I thought of them as many things. Hooded men, prudent teachers, the leaden key. Their rules were strict, but their guidance was clear. I sincerely believe they wanted to keep Kith from the folly of their own foolish ambitions. I came to the Deerwood a little over a year ago. My orders were to gather information on Anamancy in the region. A senior contact met with me every few months to receive my reports and issue new leads. She sent me to Gilded Vale to keep an eye on events surrounding the local lord, but I lost track of her shortly after that. I don't know if she was reassigned, killed, or sacrificed the way you saw. By the time you met me, I'd been on my own for a couple of months. 
I needed some kind of direction. And after that scrape with the locals, I was ready to get out of town. But then you mentioned the hooded figures in the machine, and I was sure you were on the trail of the leaden key. And I was correct in a way. What we found wasn't what I expected. I knew the leaden key was trying to stop Anamancy, but I didn't realize how far they'd gone. Murder, sabotage, abandoning entire districts to shambling horrors. And now the whole city is up in flames. I'm still not sure about Anamancy, but I know I've been following the wrong master. Please, accept my apology, and my service. Let me fight with you to stop Theos. And what do you really expect us to do with this too late confession? Trust you on your word? I shall follow your lead. 